on the north side Big up all the youths and from the south side The best high grade come from the west side I tell the good people Yes, it's about 30 rounds right here on UBC Radio The sound that binds us together Yes, it's that now, that time you for me Yes, uh, tell a friend to tell a friend We are about talking to the man Cutty Rounds uh, Right after this track, you feel me? It's where the best red comes from Don't get the best girl for the best one It's where you run it We said this is Jamaica It's where the best vibes come from It's where the best weed come from Don't get the best girl come from It's where you run it We're born to lead Some boy head must be lick up It seems like them brain cell a bleed don't ramp with the thing when we out and a bun we weed We say the way we love weed when we smoke we a bun the seed We make way eyes a bleed From New York City straight back to LA Anytime we work we know we a feed it pay If you make a lot of enemies I'll tell the good people this is the time that you've been waiting for Yes, uh, as we bring to you our artists uh, for today, yes, he's been giving us music from the 80s, right throughout the 90s. He's given us hits after hits. He dominated the dancehall genre. Yes, and we are proud to present to you in the spotlight the man Kurti Rant. Yes, you heard it, Kurti Rant. A pleasant good afternoon to you, Kurti Rant. How are you doing? What's the weather like over in Jamaica? Yeah, man, the weather hot at night, so what, yeah, man? You know, you know, the night cool and, you know, we have a good, very good weather here. You don't know, Jamaica always have a fit thing, you know. Jamaica is Jamaica, though. So let's start this interview by uh, telling us uh, who is Curti Rounds, where Curti Rounds was born, a bit more about Curti Rounds for our listeners. Uh, just give me a sec. I need to get my, my headphone because I, I'm not hearing you quite clearly the way or I, I want to. Just give me a second. Yeah. Yo, you Nick. Them think them is a playground. Trouble. The one at Jamaica is our town. Yeah, you know, that's so we're we place. I will want Africa to start giving Place too. Yeah. <laughs> into joining Curti Ranks right here on UVC Radio, the sound that binds us together. Yes, a bit more about yourself, Curti Ranks. A bit more about myself. Yes, what where you were you know? from? Where were you from? Where were you born? Where did you grow up? Well, listen, we, we, we born at uh, East Kingston, Rockford. I grew up part of my time in St. Mary and the rest back in my city, you know. But me they all over Jamaica. I'm, I'm not a person who is stationary at one place when I'm growing up, you know. Lovely. They're all over the now, island. You understand? Absolutely. Now, growing up as a child in Jamaica, at what point did you realize, did you come to that realization that you wanted to pursue music? <laughs> that is a good question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember <laughs> back in the days when they used to have a, 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 a radio station here, what they call RJR. RJR. And they used to have this Kogi talent show on it. And uh, that is, was one of my dreams to get on the Kogi talent show. With a lady named Marie Gart on it. And, and then you have, the, you have, after that, you have a, 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 a show named Tastes, talent show. The same, Tastes is a party maker here in Jamaica, one of the best where, where the country of the offer. You understand? Yeah. So they used to keep a talent show. That's right where Muta Baruka bus from, too, you know. You understand? Because I remember I saw him on it all. So, you see me? And the first time I get a chance to get on that, 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 that talent show, I was like nervous. 
as I like you would tell, when we look at the amount of people in front of me, I was nervous. I could even hold the mic in front of my face. With my I could only imagine. <laughs> and my knee then was wobbling, you know. <laughs> and, and after af, after that experience, I never make that happen again. That's where everything start to grow from. You understand? And I, after that, I used to work with a lot of sound system, you know, like lift. PA system, like lip sound box, roll up wire. Do all the hard work. You understand? The real hard work. You know? You load it off of the truck, put it on back of the truck, and all these things. So, I mean, I fully pay my dues within the music business, and I'm around from the days of true bumper fire. You know? When I put steel on up in a tree. You say let them put one hand pine to the west, one pine to the east, and one pine to the north. And when you turn that up, it draw the crowd. You understand? Some people used to use it on top of a, of a car and drive around in the community to advertise. You know, the, the, the show or the dance, the party, as what them call it now. You understand? So I'm around from those days. You see me? So Absolutely. I spring up know. from in a those days before any no computer wasn't around in those days. Nothing named technology. It's just analog. Straight across the board. And, and even before computer amplifier start to come around, it was true amplifier. Where it, it take like a lot of hours before it warm up, like four or five hours. So if you string up the sound system six o'clock in the evening or five o'clock, it take like up until nine, ten o'clock in the night. The more warmer the tube them come becomes within the amplifiers, the more better the sound system play. They understand. So it's from those days me I hold the mic. You see? So I'm around for a very long, long time. Right. Now I it's interesting that you just call just, just call it I were born for this. It's a gift. Lovely. Yes. Now it's interesting that you said that because we would like to understand what was the situation like back in in, in that time you grew up in terms of uh, the dance. What was that energy level like uh, when you went dance and you went on to a stage, you entertained the, your, your audience. What was that, that, that energy that you was getting from back in, the, in, in, them, in them times? In those days? Everything yes. is the best in those days. It may be look small or little, but it was the best. In those days, you get the best food in Jamaica. When you go to this kind of party or dance, you understand? When you go on the country, when it were uh, country, country dance, I the show them a keep a country was some of the best you can ever find what you call open your events because jamaica known for that it's just unfortunate in these days you have politicians and all kind of other entities i try to limit the music and try to keep down the music but yet still they want to gain from it you understand but in those days when you go to a country dance you eat the best curry goat you ever eat Mm -hmm. <laughs> you understand? <All> right. <laughs> so, and whether it's curry goat, crayfish soup, or all of those things, you get the best of everything. In those days, and when you go country and meet all a woman, you, 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 you meet proper woman. You see me? So every man used to really want to live out of the city and go to country. Once they go there, once they always want to go back. <laughs> See, Mr. Ali, the woman, them enough, and them nice, right. and you have river, and, and you, you have river to go to. So you have some of the country them when you go there, them have river or waterfall where you can go. And when you start to get that kind of enjoyment of Jamaica, you go always and love it. Until today, dear Jamaica is still a beautiful place. It's just unfortunate where people. The biggest problem for this country. It's people against other people. Let's put it that way. And I'm not even going to go too deep in it. 
You see, but in those days, the music was good. When you go to a party, a man hold him girl and him, you know, rubber dub, you call that. Wine pan him girl and him, you know, and stay so and, you know, some man I say, well, if your back pocket now nah, move, you're not nah, going with nothing. You know why? <laughs> man, who man, I kill you around there. <laughs> you know, you know, man, you some must, man. I say, hey, yo, why you? T- you know, say your back pocket. You see your back pocket now, move. You know why? For the woman, man. I woman, I want for you. <laughs> you so know, but it was it. it was fun. It was yes, fun. Sir. Real fun. Now you never used to have no a fight. I don't know about violence or nothing like that. No idea so you go to certain parties like the woman them over this and the man them over this. It's like a standoff. You know? Like we could Texas, you know. Like the man now and the woman them have a standoff around there and, 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 and you have man who want to take over the video light and try to keep the woman them out of that. No the woman right. and them are I take on the video light now because you know. Let's talk a bit change. about let's talk about a, a bit more about the lyrical content that we uh, seen back in your time back in the early 80s because when you listen to most song in the 80s there was always a story behind the song right you listen to the yeah. song right they, they, they had a message to convey in today's mm-hmm. dance hall they seem to be more of a rhyming nursery and not really a, a storyline behind those, those 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 songs what do you think has contributed to it and why do you think back in the 80s you had that sort of standard in terms of the lyrical content we see coming from back in, in, in that time? It's not just the 80s, it's the 80s and the 90s. So I would, I would have bring the 90s into it, come up to a certain point. You understand? So the 80s and the 90s were really great for the music. You know, I used to listen to like some great artists like Bob Marley with the message. The Marlies, them and Daddy Uri and all the other great artists, them like Burning Spear and, you know, a whole heap of them we listen to. You understand? I listen to them personally and learn a lot too from this. So Josie Will, Charlie Chaplin, and those days. You know, but what I see in terms of the message are, are if we do recording them. Right? In those days, the music have substance and it have a message. And it and, 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 and it, it build a prestige. There are certain some elegance to it, to some of the music, and you have the next set with prestige. But mm-hmm. right now, presently, all of that have been lost. You have a few people still, you know, whether they're in the business who make good music, no, you know. But a lot of them now practice what them preach, you know. <laughs> them say the word, but them now live it. <laughs> exactly, yeah. You understand what I say? So, in my time, just say, from the late 80s to the early 90s, uh, from, uh, I would have said from the early 80s to the early 90s, when I do, a, do a, the first song, I do a, a name Gunman lyrics. When you check the wording of it, you can see say it's about fun. It's not about like kill everything where you see. You understand? You just have to talk about what is going on. You see? So you just make, you just write songs out of it and tell a story. You see? Don't in the late eighties when we I write the bummer. And yep. do the bummer. 1988, sometime in 88. Mm-hmm. And the bomber dropped 1989. I did the bomber first for Penthouse Records and them sit on it like it's a, like a souvenir. Like it's some souvenir <laughs> we give them and eventually we go next door and fight it for Patrick Robertson from Shocking Vibes. You see? I know Penthouse bust me in the business. It's Shocking Vibes. Bust me with a song there and then Pentos pick it up from there. So them is still part of it. You understand? Yes. You see? Even Barry Saman was even talking to Jeremy and then I said, well, if you sit sit on the uh, sit on the uh, sit on the song them or uh, have them like you have them in a some museum where you expect the, the youth to go do him, I go straight. 
You see? Right. I'm very some man, I'm very some man, make that talk for me. Yep. You see, and Jeremy and, and Jer- Donovan, Jeremy and pick it up from there. You see? Now and, we understand. And, 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 and I take it, uh, and then we take it to another level. You see, but it's yep. really shocking vibes put out the two first bad tune and then Jeremy and. and you see? You but have we some people what you call. You, let, uh, hold on a minute. You have some people what you call surfers. And in case a lot of people don't know what that means, because Jamaica have a lot of surfers. When the wave is down and the tide is not up, you don't see them. But as soon as the tide starts rise, everybody start run to them surfboard, ready for surf. <laughs> <laughs> and then they can figure it out if they don't know what it means. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, like, like I was going to point out to you now we we recognize that there has been a change those changes in the music in terms of the lyrical content compared to the 80s to the 90s and what we're seeing today now for from uh, uh, artists who've been around foundation artists what are some of the reason contributing factor you would say that causes that big shift in terms of the lyrical content we see happening in our dancehall music, you know, I mean, the 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 the, the wording to describe women, the violence we see in the lyrics, etc. What do you think is, has has contributed to that? Well, listen to me. I'm gonna answer this question in about three different parts. First. When I write the song named The Bummer, it really busts me into the music business. I carefully figure out the words when I say, kill out all the enemies, leave me all of the friends. And we have bust up The Bummer. We have a new thing where they call it The Bummer. It blew up warship and it blew up the tanker. Ruled by police, controlled by soldier. You see? You also have a raw version of it. You see? Well, we say shoot down police and wipe out soldier in at that time with the first cut of it. And then we do a, another version of it, it's a, like it's a rule by police control by soldier from behind a wall in killer where we are working. What that basically mean? That song more on a self-defense level. You see? I also yes. give the police and the soldiers them props. I also I give the bad man them and the road boy them and road them props. See? Because at the end of the day, the creation of crime comes from the same society or the same political circle. What we right. are seeing until today. Day. You see? Enough people now go like hear the truth because every time, whether it's some young artists or politicians or other people, but you're not to hear no politician come out and say nothing like that. But most of them people, you know, when you tell, when you try to teach them certain things or, or criticize them, them getting at them little feelings like some little girl. You understand? Because I saw some of them look like entertainer or move nowadays. Some of them, not all of them. You see? But anytime you try to tell them what it is or, or criticize them, you see, criticism. Criticism can benefit you in so many different ways. You understand? But yep. when I write, when I make the bama, I make it more on a self-defense level. You see? Gunman lyrics is a, it's just a message where I say, say yeah, keep gun party because, I mean, when you used to go to party back in ideas, especially within this city, you have gun, guns around. You know? You have lots of guns. If a police use a fire gunshot up in the air, a salute, you know, like gun salute, if they like the artists and the artists are push lyrics and them like, them get so happy, them so happy that them start salute, bus shot in the air, real bullets. And politicians never used to go against it in those days either. Police used to have the freedom to do that, but it, after a while, two things get out of proportion. We are other people ya. start joining, start joining. Yeah. <laughs> change up the, the, the laws. And it, yeah. You understand? But 
these days when we see some of them artists yeah, write all certain lyrics and it's like them now have no limit to where them go. You see? Man, I tell you, same drop your jelly in your lap and all of them things there. And a man oh, my. That you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> and, and, and <laughs> when he <laughs> might come to kill you, he might kill baby, dog, kitten. He not left nothing. I am the tree. If the tree move around, the only tree I shoot. <laughs> so, oh but me, so that is that is crazy. This a lawlessness. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, we are gonna love them. <laughs> but feed them think that you see right. because me can't say it like it is. You have some artists, some of the young artists, that will have some like a swan to them thing, you know. And uh, the, the style them with them create, but them just they, uh, some of them just don't know if they camouflage themselves. And some of them don't know if they control themselves either. They have a tendency of always to use ignorance over intelligence. Why every time some of them young artists are just are spring up in you know, the music business and them reach, them they, they are fight to get it, you know. And when they finally get some traction to move from here so, to up there, so, all on a sudden, them start get ignorant and use ignorance over intelligence, and all on a sudden, everybody gone to jail. You see? And this is sad. This is sad. When we are come up in the business, we are not more police, more respect our thing, and we, we, we give the police, them are the law enforcement, them respect, and them give you our respect. You see? Because it's always, our law enforcement, you know, is, is, is not bad enough. Some law enforcement are good people. You know a lot of them but are good, good people. But you have some of them too. When they're straight, you have some of them where overstep them bound. You understand and all of these things. But look at it this way. You have good and bad in every organization. You have all police where you hate police. You see? But one thing we can tell you, when it comes, out, when it comes, comes down to the job, Everybody going back in the unit, them have the sense of unity that they fight crime. You see? And then again, you have some police where them just don't have no sense. You understand? I'm going to say it like it is, because I'm call a speed a speed. You have a lot of police out there where you use ignorance over intelligence. You see? Right. And then end up look, and then end up look stupid. You see? So, we see all of them things that within the street are out and, uh, you know, all over the country. But you have great police officers here too. <laughs> they are them, them all bad, you know. Exactly, you yes. I would, and then, I would, I would and then, so. and then but the bad, but, but, but the bad, the bad apple, them just spoil up the bunch because yeah. we, are going <laughs> up, we are going to police force and say, you are uphold the law. And you are fight crime, but yet still you yourself is a crime. <laughs> right. So, uh, cut it around yeah. now. Let's let's now take the attention to the music. Yes. Not taking away from the um um the lyrical content, and let's focus on the music. Now, back in the day, right when you went into the studio, the producers would have invite live uh, instrumentalists. You know, what I mean, guys coming to play live instrument and they would have recorded it now when those recording right because it's live instrument live human being playing obviously emotions are involved and when you hear it played on the record you could feel that those emotions and you know what i mean when you hear you would want to dance now by the early 2000 we saw the introduction to computer where Quite a few producers started using, you know, I mean, computer softwares uh, to produce music. Now, what do you think? What is your, your your take on that whole development? Do you think it's it's a destruction towards the the reggae industry, or it has benefited the industry? Look, you have all kind of different form of music. Oh dear, but. Live music is always going to be the greatest part of reggae music in reggae. You see? Because reggae music, which you call, which we call it one drop, root track reggae, 
And then you have dance all is the next side of that kind. You understand? You have some in those days you have live dance hall beat we play to with live instrument and then you have some with drum machine and uh keyboards you know sly and Robbie was one of the main you know person where you was up the the, the 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 guitar and live music and then add the drum to it even if you have a computer drum machine and go with a program and I go with it, you still have some live stuff in it and it works. You understand? Uh, Steely and Cleave, you know. Then was another side. We have a different sound from Sly and Robbie and them control aside the side for them sound. You see, a lot of the hits, them what I make, come from those two entities, Sly and Robbie, and also Steely and Cleavy. Because them are the man who build right. a lot of those rhythm, they build rhythm for Pentos, Jammings, and all the other people. You understand, until Firehouse School, them come up with George and, you know, wrong move, and them you there. See? You see? Them, them you they never get no justice in our business, but that is a long story. Uh, then you have... What twenty one them come up with the, and, 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 and them come with them so on too. So yeah, so many different people will spring up in the thing. But in them days, eh, computer start come up from in the eighties, you know, late eighties. You see, so I would have said more start to take more effect in the nineties come up. You understand? You still used to have, you know. MPC 2000 was one of the main drum machines a lot of people like because you get some serious sound from it. You know? Till them start, step it up to all, it go all the way up to MPC 5000. You see? Right. And you have and you have Triton, them kind of keyboard and them start, the music start changed but it, it was okay and I worked for a certain period of time until all everything just start turn into something else because we let me tell you the difference of we and some of them artists here boy yeah no when you have people like Randy MC I'm not for them hip hop artists in the United States them you some more learn from we and copy from we <coughs> you understand yeah. yeah not the other way around you see no, we are copy from them. <laughs> Turn back road to a different direction. The table has turned you <laughs> Them you also more a copy from us. Them learn a lot from us, whether them want to acknowledge it or not. You see? A lot of them, we know from Randy MC, KRS1, Exhibit, all that, and if you talk about West Coast, you talk from Easy, them days, with Dr. Dre and Snoop, and the whole of the man, them have come up and shook night, them and Death Row records, and we have follow all of them. Thing. You understand? So we know what we know. Even if you go over into the Latin, the Latin, the reggaeton, where they matter about the name reggaeton, is our authentic dance hall from them time they don't want them where we like now them just take a put them put on a tank on it it's our stuff channel to panama city to new york and then the puerto rico and them get love it and take it to puerto rico and then put on a tank on it you're lucky they have a g-string <laughs> they put on that right <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, and, but the panamanian give us a lot of respect and they and the Dominican from Dominican Republic give us our respect. The Colombian them know us our music. You know, even although some of them, you know, we not hear them. The Puerto Rican them is the one them we get a little bit cocky, I act like that for them creation. You see, it's not for them creation. The Panamanian them know say it's our creation. So you have the Panamanian and Jamaica link up. You see? Like El General and them people. Nando Boom. We carry the thing go to New York. 
true American company and people start gravitate to the dance hall and them take it and carry it to Puerto Rico. And then I call it reggaeton. <laughs> you see? Right. Now on the, Play on some the note of... thing around it, but it's our creation. So compared to them with our music and now, I be a trap beat we have now. We don't say we don't do trap and we don't say some of them no. Sound all right in terms of certain sound. I mean, I'm going to say some of the artists, them have, you have to have next generation, you know, if you come carry on the thing, you know. But it's some of the artists, them is just the way how them go about it. And them now have no unity among them, one another. It's all about who better than who and competition. The same narrative over and over again. You see? That's why you always, them always say, black people, biggest problem is black people. Fight against them one. You see, I have not, my time, it takes a lot of time to, to fight against another person. You see, that is time consuming. <laughs> so, we don't go waste my time. For, yeah, yeah, it's, it's yes. time consuming. Yeah, now, on that. the note of, of, of South America, we, we've seen Cody Rounds have done something that, that back in the day, at the time, it seemed impossible. But Cutty Rounds was able to do that. And we're on about tapping into the South American market when you released that Mama Sita song. How did it all happen? Did oh, you, you mean ever have to Cross I... Eater. Yes, exactly. Did you have any idea that you would have really penetrated through the South American market when you did that song? I was already in the so uh, South American market, but... Based upon where you say, if I did a wear that I went to, this song would be this big. I never wear of it at the time. You see, I just do the, do the song in English and ask the, 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 the producer to, to translate it, translate back my English. Because that song really does start by English. So give me a little thing, give me a little thing, girl, give me a little thing, and say, yell to the king, girl, give me a little thing. You understand? So, the Spanish language is so, you know, Spanish language is very tricky. You understand? So, so because it is so tricky, the yield to the king part wouldn't work, but the give me a little thing work. So, the give me a little thing turned out to be, dammit, it, dammit it to cosita. Girl, give me a little thing. So, uh. girl, you know, you see? This girl give me a little thing. You see, so it worked, it turned out to be that. And if you want me to explain it to you, make can explain it to you. The next Go part on. of it, the, or the part where, hey! Yes. You know, so if, the, yes. If, the girl, if the girl give you the little thing and the thing good, then the thing make you go so, hey! <laughs> 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 you see? So yeah, if you know what it is, dummy to cosita. You know what it is, dummy to cosita. Ah, uh, ah, uh, dummy to cosita. Ah, uh, ay, dummy to cosita. Ah, uh, ah, uh, dummy to cosita. Ah, uh, ay, dummy to cosita. The soma, dummy to cosita. To cosita, dummy to cosita. You see? And them just yeah. had with them, uh, the, the producer just had with him a hand to it. And, 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 and the guy named Rodney Clark, him wasn't on the original track. You know, he used two of my samples to finish up the track. He wasn't on it. It's just the remix now in place himself on it. You see? I suppose that would have gained you more appearance performing in, in South America with, with that song after it became popular. That song was really popular in in the in the Spanish circle, you know. But it never blew up like that till when they do the remix. Our uh, well, remix now just blew out of proportion, brother. And uh, you don't know technology evolved now, so them use up the animation character and it worked. You understand? You see? Now we want to. We so, want to. We want to go back because I think that has been a big problem back in the 80s. And we're talking about royalties, right? Now, uh, well, we, we are uh, aware... Uh, go, mm, go on. 
could you stick up in because I never finished the conversation and that dummy took a seat because you asked a question and it just popped back into my head. Where? Right. Oh, I come by just do it. Because you used to have El General and a lot of different Spanish artists continue to take my lyrics them and translate them into Spanish. And, and using them, like the stop and certain other songs, El General take and translate it into Spanish and making a killing out of it. So I just decided that, you know, I would have really like to get in this Spanish market because if you can't beat them, you join them. <laughs> And penetrate the market. So me use that as an advantage yeah. because El General helped to even popularize my song by the way the Spanish people them love it. Him start to take it and translate it the English back into Spanish. And at first I never find out about it. Until I start to find out about it. And I say, yeah, that's that what I do. And me just decide, say, you know what? You have to go find a way to penetrate this market if in order to join the Spanish people. So that's how I come up with the idea and decide say I want to do Spanish. So when this guy near Rodney Clark, I did that show in Panama City and him, him see me and he looked like he was a fan also. So eventually he link up and you know him say him have a rhythm and him want me to go on it and me tell him to send the rhythm. So give me a little thing is what I come with come up with for it and say yell to the king. But eventually when the time comes for, for, for record it, because I want to get in the Spanish market for penetrate, they ask him to translate. They give me a little thing. Same. Translate it into the English. Translate it from English to Spanish and just tell right. me what it means in Spanish. And that's how I come up with the dame to cosita. And then him now tried to steal everything. <laughs> you know, and tried to pull a stunt. And for years, you don't know, see that little brother. It was a little rat. You understand? You see? Right. But look at it this way. It, it is what it is. And it, it, it reached the way it reached. And it's another milestone for me. You understand? And him as a producer, you know, it will get guy. Him build him name off of me. You see? Him get recognition on a global scale because of me. You see? Whether I want to acknowledge, that, acknowledge it or not. You see? Now I have had a Spanish track to come out. I have a couple more. And now I study the language even more now. You know? Just to prove a point. You see? So, look at it this way. Yeah. So let's take us back again. Because mm -hmm. it's, 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 very, it's very important. It's very crucial to, to understand, to get the understanding. It has been said many times that back in the 80s, you always used to have feuds among producers and uh, artists as it relates to royalties. So artists were on the, the, the view that they were not getting the, the, the right royalties from producers, etc. What do you think has contributed to that for so many years? Is it, is it the artists, most of them have not educated themselves in terms of understanding about royalties, etc.? Well, what caused that problem is the greed of mankind. Man. For them producers, a thief and criminal and them greedy. Feel like them can't style the artist them. Them do me the same thing too. Them are thief. You understand? Them greedy, them want it all for themselves. You can't get no better answer than that. You have to call a spade a spade. Some of them producers you know, you know, like to pay. I know quite a few of them. They don't like to pay royalty to, no, to artists. There's hundreds of millions out, uh, out there for artists right now where they don't get. Including me. You see? And then you have all other entities where get all grants 
from various different countries for the music and for artists, and them take it for themselves. These have been stolen. And them think we don't know about it. We know what is going on. But we just die and watch and watch everything I play out. You see? A whole heap of great artists like Al Alton Ellis and a whole heap of other man are missing some great music and the music sell. A vinyl you also make money and you have some producer down and don't pay. You see? They like to pay people. You understand? Right. I know, I know, I know of one of them too. Yeah, where, where, where. More than one of them, but that one here, yeah, he will come out and call up my name online. And talk about me never like another artist. I'm the biggest thief in the business. He don't like to pay people. So why when he take an interview, he not talk about that part there? <laughs> <laughs> you see, but me never like to make him too important. So I never go put him name in a, in a thing. Make him figure it out. That's why he attack. He like to pay what people advice? royalty. I make tens of millions of people and don't want to pay up. You see, what advice would you give one, to when I, when I, when I, when I try my man, I have to go in my yard, go look for him and his dog, and make too much noise, and his dog end up get shot. <laughs> because oh, of <my>. royalty. <laughs> because of stealing. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> and then I come try, come, come say nothing to me. I try put a blemish for my reputation. From me know right. myself, I never hold any conversation with no producer or nobody about no artist. In terms of I go against the artists or I leave anywhere because of no artists. You understand? Anything you see if me see an artist when me and him not see eye to eye on certain things. Him stay over this and me stay over here. So I me no look for him from people. I me no bow to no one. You hear that? So you have to know that you have to know you have to know that thing about me. Me no clinch or bow, man, and the boy can't ruffle my feather. Now you you have been a victim of 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 that uh, um, in terms of not getting your fair royalties. What would you say, yes. what advice would you say to the younger artists coming up to not get themselves in that situation? All me I tell them be careful and make sure them always they on the alert when it comes on to them royalty because even the online thing we are going right now digital download and. Some companies where claim that they might distribute, you know, music for artists, artist music. Them not paying a lot of us either. You understand? So I want to ask the question, how oh, some of these digital companies stay in a business? Since as them claim that they don't make no money uh, for the music, how oh, them stay in a business? Some of them end up buy all another company. Buy out another digital company for merge it with for them one. How? Oh. If them now make no money off of our music or other artists' music, how them come by doing that? Hmm? Right. So there's a lot of things going on in the music business right now where and we don't see nobody or no important people or lawmakers in Jamaica or no politicians that help we to defend that. None of them not help you, but if something pop up, you know, where you eat a food, all and a sudden, everybody want to turn up on your doorstep. You see? Mm. We, we also know well, that, well, you know what I mean? Well, things are going on in our, in our business right now where the younger artists have to understand and know about and be very careful about, you know? Try to has... eat your food. Mm. Dominated this genre dance soul for many years. You know what I mean? You couldn't have listened to a dance soul without hearing without hearing a Kuti Ranks back in the eighties, right throughout the nineties. When you right first up to the 90s stepped and out, two thousand mm. exactly. When you first stepped out Jamaica to perform, what was that experience like for you? Well, I I I I I've been loved. All over the all over this planet, you know. To be honest with you, even in a Moscow, in a Russia, I'm going. It was a peer vibes. 
You see? Me do show in a mask when I tell you, say, nice. Belgium, same thing. Like Reggae Gale and them show, they are Ratatam Splash. You know? Also in a Spain, very good way up. You see? With the Boomtown Festival, like 50,000 people, it starts from. Ratatam Splash, you yeah, look from probably about 60 or 70,000 people in front of you. You see? Wow. And, and, uh, 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 uh the next one, a reggae girl within Belgium. Yeah, close to 100,000 people. You know, but uh, more than one night it keeps. So you have some, some nights probably around 50 or 60,000 people. You know? And you have another night where probably you get 45,000. And you have the main night where it's close to 80,000. So that's close to 100,000 people. Anyway, up to the 80,000 range. You understand? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. When you talk about Japan splash, when Japan splash, you used to keep in a Japan. Yeah, man. Right now, I'm in love. Even in England. You know, I've been loved within the music business all over this planet. But to Israel, you know, been loved there so too. You understand? The people they enjoy the music. And, and, Definitely. And, you no, know, the Latin world, Panama City, them love it. Costa Rica, Cadi Yadi, San Jose, love it. You understand? So, Absolutely. I mean, the go Dominican Republic already profile, them love it. The go Mexico City, they love it. You see? So, but they all over in this place. Canada, see that, love it. You know, although, me just uh, like what I go on in uh, Canada these days. You know, the late part of the, these days, so, you know. Me, me not feel Canada anymore. Like, me not feel like me not even want to go back there because I want to see how to the Canadian. Same. I go even go in at that. You know, leave it. Right. Right. <laughs> so so we've we've also like obviously over the years uh uh Cutty Ranks has been popularly known for his authentic style of dance music. But guess what listeners? It doesn't just stop here. You know what I mean? He is current, he is versatile. I would like to present a song to our listeners uh, and when we come back Cutty Ranks will be telling us more about that song. Are we talking about Flawless? So listeners, take a listen of Flawless right here on UVC Radio, the sound that binds us together. Baby, you're looking lovely. I think you take the whole millennium. I think you're ready for Billboard magazine. I don't see it no other way. And of course, we're talking to Cody Rance, and you're listening to the voice of himself, Cody Rance. And the name title track is Flawless. Listen to the rhythm, the style. It's up to date, isn't it? It seems like your mommy must call you out. That's why me have to call you out. You make me feel like to dry you out. And I said, all right, now I'm swimming with the tide. You see? So, so, so. We could, how did you all do it, Kuti Ranks? We could see clearly, well, we could uh, hear uh, that, that, yeah, that well, obviously, uh, the, the, the authentic awe of the dance hall still remained, but it has that, that, that up, that up to the time rhythm, you feel me, to, to match yes, up with, more, with more, the more, new generation. More than, more than more the crossover uh, trap trap kind of sound because you have to move with the times as we say you have to swim with the tide you understand and you know it's just a friend of mine named ice boss you know uh, bring that send that beat to me and you know and the youth name with him quarry or build it and you know so you know big up quarry ice boss really and truly me like the rhythm and this is when I listen to that beat, I just could just identify with it and know what it called for. You understand? You know, so do something for the female them, you know, the good woman them, because as some as, as some people that say, I know every woman good, but you have a lot of good women out there. 
them don't all bad either. That's you correct. You understand? So, <laughs> this affair, that song, they have to all of the good women, them, when we say them, them resume clean and them have them thing way up there. You understand? Them flawless, sexy, look good, natural, you know? Just, we just see them more than a thousand percent. Them have that level of prestige and elegance there to them thing, you know? You understand? So for them woman there, you know, so be a big girl, you're flawless. My girl, you, my girl, you look flawless. You have the body of a goddess, you see? It seems like your mommy must carve you out. That's why me have to call you out. You make me feel Jeez. like we dry you out. <laughs> so many things we have to talk about. Nobody <laughs> never leave you on our own about. I will try to trick you with no word about. Self-sufficient, you know, I have no doubt. Them can't get you out because you're flawless. You That's understand? what's up. <laughs> yeah. You see? And so me know that... me have to meet your parents. I will never ever run out of patience. From you see me, girl, you know me ancient. My money back by gold, baby. From you, from you see your girl, me see the prestige. Why you put me whole place on the stage? Mama see it that we have to proceed. If me not see you, my girl, me can't breathe. You look like a little delicate flower. <laughs> you mean, that's good like, <laughs> that's what's up. Stuff. That's what's up. It's, it's quite interesting. You know, yeah, yeah, big yeah. up a woman them to the highest level. You see and it? Big up a woman right. and the independent, independent woman them. Woman exactly. Have them, we're very articulate, articulate. Have them good, good education. Have them, the, the, them subject and them have them thing set. And them have them thing up. You see? Right now, that's on. quite interesting, Kurti Rap, sure. because here it is that you're describing a lady in the song, a sexy woman. But the words that you chose to describe her, it doesn't make the song derogative or, you know what I mean, smutty. You get me? Now, yeah. some people, you know what I mean, on the view that dancehall in itself is, 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 is a bit smutty. Do you know what I mean? But I say... Yeah, well, because, you you have, yeah because you have all kind of different elements penetrate the music industry and have a whole heap of money outside forces that spend a whole heap of money in order to change the dance to feed them narrative you see so if you notice most of the artists them know everything they matter about is suck and lick lick and all kind of other stuff right now me personally me think for your grounds your fronts in my book <laughs> You see, <laughs> we don't deal with them kind of narrative there. We don't deal with them kind of thing there. You see? And I hear some of the girls, them, I say, some man I talk about them to do this and do that. But yet still, they don't want to do that and do this. <laughs> so, I can't blame the girl them to say it. Because if you want to go around and have a talk about your groans, groans, it's about you want groans out the woman, them and all them things there. And, contaminate the woman them life. You know, expect say woman them all want grounds you out to and contaminate your life. Them can't stay they live for them life. Yeah? For them business that. Them I do them and me I do me. You understand? Right now to be honest with you, me think uh, some of them people are run me are run me out of dating. <laughs> Maybe <they> stop dating. <laughs> I'm not dating anymore. <laughs> you, see, you don't know where you pick up these days because you don't know who yeah. are fronts from who are fronts. Yeah. <laughs> right now, you have to be careful right now. Who are going to play with the monkey tail? Go play with the monkey tail for them business. See and the boy can't play with my tail. <laughs> who are going to lick and do what they want to do for them business? Them can you see? Some, some of them people, yeah. you have some people who just do anything for money. Then we sell them soul for the last dollar. Some of them are sell for less than a dollar. Then we sell them soul for a meal deal. And I put myself in that kind of position. I remember when me used to have a hustle in the street back in the days and things very, very bad. Nothing ever go on. You see, I have to live off of bread and butter. You see, stand up at some bakery door just to get a or hot bread for all somebody in you know that. I'm going to get some butter for eat with that. You understand? I remember them days, eh? And, 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 oh, we never bow out or go sell out. Hmm? 
we never go sell out. We just work our way up in this music thing. And work our way up in other areas as we used to work on construction site. Until today, you still have some cans still left in my, my hand middle. So we pay our dues to work on construction work at a meat shop in a, at Crossroad in Kingston here. You see? Big up my brethren, Greg, when we used to go there and beg it, beg meat. We used to, when me when me hustle the road or help lift up some bag for some of them country people who come in at the city with them goods and me help them take it off of the truck and them give me some food. The market people, they used to love me to and feed I and I. You see? And, uh, 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 and get some food from them and then we just go in at the meat shop go beg some meat. Like, you know, you have food, you need the meat to go with the food. <laughs> yes. And still the people in the meat shop, this, this brother named Greg in the meat shop, them get tired of me. I beg, beg out the meat. I say, what? You want a job every day you come and beg out the meat. You better you come work. I say, yeah, man, we're glad for your job. And them give me a portion of a portion of fridge. They start clean fridge. When them defrost yes. the fridge, I start clean them and that me start from. You understand? Until me step up to the level of start know for use the machines them in there for cut the meat and learn for mince, beef and them things they for make patty. And me learn a variety of different skills in there. See, so me now go forget them days. Eh? When me start exactly. from some boy, I think some boy, I think me just come up in this business and just so. Yeah, some of them. There was a struggle we, time. We, that you ride them was there before. We are help mold it for we and we take it from and Josie wheel them and we take it from this or take it to another level with Shabba them and the whole of it. Take the thing to another level. Now a different generation come and get it on a silver plant and feel like them were now, ignorant. Now, I'm and happy. So I'm happy yeah. that you brought up that because my next question is that most younger artists, right? Well, a lot of artists, young artists would say, right? They haven't gotten much support from the foundation artists in terms of collaboration. You haven't seen much foundation artists collaborating with younger artists. Now, I'm not entirely sure what's the reason if it's because the younger artists are not cooperating with the foundation artists or the foundation artists are not cooperating with the younger artists. But we could see clearly not much collaboration has been going on over the years with foundation artists, with younger artists. What is your take on that, Kuti Ranks? Yes, yes, say part of it already, but I'm going to be on that. When you see a younger artist spring up and as him name start calling him up on the eye, it is hard to approach some of them artists yeah. Because when you approach them, you don't know what they're going to do next. Because them depend so much hype. You see, and now nah, techno talk. Eh? Some of them artists I feel like if we as a original artists and through them think feel like say our name now car like for them one you try to approach them for do a collaboration they're not interested to do that with you you see them feel like that you are look a boss or you are look for bring back your name after them so they're not doing it right it's not all young artists is the same though you have a young artist, depends on the background where he come from or the people where he grew up around, whether he's in the gates or wherever, where have a certain respect for us. I mean, no a few. You see? If they are pretend or they are fake it, so be it. But I don't think the one them where me no a fake it. They just literally have the level of respect for people like I and I. You see? But uh, another thing, another side of the thing too, Sometimes it's hard to deal with them because they say sometimes when you take up a young artist and decide to spend some money upon him in order to bring him up in the business, he doesn't have no patience. You see? He thinks right. a room building a day. Same. You see? And then the next thing you hear, you start here, say, yeah, 
and you are hold on him career and you are do this and you are do that and you spend all your money upon him and lose all your money to because he decides to switch them not have no loyalty to certain things them not have no loyalty to no one them not live by no code you understand so you will spend me know a man will spend millions of dollars per artist out here so and as soon as some traction him name start make some traction him switch gone to somebody else through the man they never smart enough to put him within a contract you see apart from that when it comes on to like artists and like the original artists them and the young artists them linking some of the young artists them and me say hey, enough time in their places and see artists pass me never say heal or high or big up or whatever him feel like a youth for run come heal him i but see i'm going heal no boy man hear that and we no business let me tell you something you see when you tell some of them young artists are the truth them have a tendency of gone now them little feelings like some little bitch you yeah, me tell you some me just say it like it is you have some of them who are cool like that. I mean, we know a few young artists who have manners and respect. They respect the man them where they are the business before them. You see? That's why I have to send all a big up to Egyptian. Because Egyptian, them, I used to DJ up on Egyptian father sound back in ideas. And Egyptian grew up and watched me. A profile and Egyptian come be something great. Within the business. You see, me meet another little youth named Maestro Dan. Like a young artist. I me never see them youth there lose no respect or, or, or show no disrespect towards me. You see? Same. I mean, know a couple more where, where, where always come around where them are Maestro Dan, them are friends with. Cool like that. You see? You understand? So... I don't go say all of the young artists them are the same thing, but you have some of them who get ahead of themselves, you know. You understand? All of a sudden, them start making a little name for themselves, they get cocky. And feel like, say, yeah, them, them make it and them have it locked. Including all some selectors, too. Because all of them are help corrupt all the music business and sit down and undermine other people. You understand? See? Right. Yeah, man, I will for undermining and going in our music business. I mean, I say it like it is. Undermining. Who will he for that, I go on? From radio this jockey, we undermine the artist too because of them own personal gain where they want to get out of it. You see? Right now, them say the music business turn into like it's a scamming operation. You oh see? My. That is where it's gone to. And that is the reason why the music has lost so much of its prestige. That's one of the main reasons. The music, uh, you know, you have uh, enough young artists who know out there right now with bad like that. Great artists who have pushed the right kind of music when we hear them and them not get a break either. Because of the undermining. Uh, too much right now, the crab in a barrel mentality is still alive, alive and well within Jamaica. You see? You have some people we, we get up and talk about classes. He must be too many classes in our own. Right? Within Jamaica, which it is here and alive and well. Classes in. But the same, some of the same people them who complain about classes in, as soon as they reach from here to here and move up to a high level, all of a sudden, them start do the same thing too. Them feel like, you know, in a them class. So, them are playing classes in the world. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so, See so, so it, it's all kind of different things are going on within this music industry and that are take away. Right now, the music, right now, the, the, the music industry drop way down in a barrel pass all the crap, man. You see? China star. You, see, you still have a few artists who are out there where, like Taros Riley and them man there, and you have yeah, like, like Jesse Ryan and they youth there, shot some good music. But you have some of my artists, them to sing good music. 
but yet still them are get caught up in some other kind of activity and just look stupid because they not practice where them preach and live. Where them, where, where, you know? Them say I feed them world. So, you know what? We just are living it here. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, as a veteran dancehall artist coming from way back, right, you would have seen loads of changes in the reggae industry. Some negative, some positive. Now, we, 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 we come to that realization that the, the reggae industry is really not where it used to be, right? What are some of the things that you think as an artist can be done different to help elevate to bring back that love and that unity we see we saw yeah, uh, back in the 80s tell, in the industry let me tell you where reggae music really want right now I mean, I just move away from dance all a little bit go to reggae what reggae want right now is is one but the authenticness there about it and a strong message there about it if you do lovers rock song you do lovers rock song and Lovers rock song, when a uh, real good lovers rock song, when you hear it, you can get all goosebumps. You understand? Because you feel the song. You're not feeling yes, the energy from a lot correct. of them songs these days. Uh, secondly, in terms of social commentary, like talking about where the suppressors or the downpressors or the demons they are do to our people, say the thing like it is. Some of them reggae artists are a bunch of cowards. <laughs> <Them frame. laughs> that's the only way we look at it. We wonder if them get covered and we have a bunch of covered and run around the place and no one said it, no one call a speed a speed and say anything like it is. And some of them have camouflaged themselves in such a way that eh, you know some of them are look friend from some of the people them when they're supposed to criticize. Just put it that way there. It's either that or them are losing. Or them just not have the real message to put out there. Them just have say some things. You see? Our people have secret. And some of them probably people have secret upon them because you leak out against certain things that you end up doing. There was some man who leak out and said they not leak all. And that's you leak around there like a doggy. Hmm? <laughs> you can keep on leak, you leak like a poodle. You need to get yourself, you get, your, get yourself in order. <laughs> They need to man, they need to get a whole. Some of the man they need to get a whole of themselves, man. You understand? And they on the hype. We don't need to depend on the hype, brother. So you know who you are. That's why me, me don't want to be no man of the moment. I just want to be a man. I tell you try to be man of the moment when the moment when the moment gone, it just gone with you. Gone with the man. You see? I just want to be me. Simply be a man. I don't want to be nothing else. I'm going to always stand up as a man and stay as a man. You see? I live up as a man. You understand? You know, depend on some little narrative where some people depend on. You know. I mean, to each his own. Everyone have their own opinion and everyone have a right to decide their own destiny in whatever shape or form. You see? But I decide my own destiny. I mean, me just I got to be a man and live as a man. I mean, I have no time right now. I mean, I have no time for hype. I mean, I do hype. And at the same time, it take, I mean, I have no time for envy another person or go against another person. That's going to take up too much of my time. <laughs> It, it takes right. time to envy people. It takes a whole yes. heap of time to envy people. Exactly. And a whole heap of them things that float all about in the air. But one thing we mm. can tell you, though, we love Jamaica and we love the Jamaican people. Them not all bad. And they matter about them in the gets. We love the ghetto people because they always treat me better than even some other people. You understand me? So yes. big up the east side, you know, big up in the Jakes and the Jarrett, Backbush and, and Rockford go right back. We want to big them up, you know. You see me? And we have a big up the whole of the west side, you know, West Kingston, go straight back to Spanish Town. You know, big up the Ada, big up the clans, big up everybody, you know. Go back to Lisbon. Yeah. 
You see me? Of course. I'm just here up the wall, show me a big up the wall of Portland, you know, because Portland is a beautiful place. Watch it. Wall of St. Go back to Chopper City, Moby. Big up. You understand? You see? Down in the West, you know, Westmoreland, Senti, you know, big up, you know, big and ref, big up yourself, you know, you see. And the whole of Senti, Elizabeth Masses, them, you see, big up. Because I know so much people at them places, I can't even call all I name them, so you better be just big up the whole of Senti. See. You see, big up the whole of Galchester, Mandeville, you know, Clarendon, yeah, man, a long time stamping ground, big up the whole of Clarendon, here, you see. Yes. And guess so, what? So, 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 right now, Bridget, let me show you something now. The music, the music of a combat. Because uh, one thing I can say, I have some ideas to the music. You see, I sit well, right now, I sit down for about 800 hard song. We already recorded when I release. We don't need to find wow. another note in order for, for prevail. Uh, let me come over here and talk, talk, and Ray. The only thing, a man only fight, try to fight you when he's fear you, you know. Some of them are fight against people out of fear, man. You see? We no need to fight against a soul. You see? Because we love the next generation. We want them to come take on the thing, but do the thing right, no, man. You know? Stop using ignorance over intelligence. You see? And as a young... This is the message to a lot of the young artists who come up. You must always open for criticism. Because criticism, you can use that to empower yourself even more. So be That's intelligent true. and stop using ignorance over intelligence, man. I make the people I dry out. You're going to make people throw the cheese and you just go pick it up and then them send you to jail. It don't make no sense. You need to use this, your head. Use your brain, man. If you have one. You know, every time... Me I watch social media and watch what I go on and some things I say I go on on social media. Right now, and every time somebody do something and throw a piece of cheese, they run go take it up. Every time somebody do so and call out one of them young artists or say nothing, whether it's on social media or person, they go on in them little feelings. Stop being like a girl. Only, only woman are going in them little feelings, man. You see? No disrespect to woman them, but me can't see with them because it's for them job for going at them little feelings. <laughs> Not you. Be a man. <laughs> see it? Stop going at your little feelings every time somebody criticizes you. You know how much people criticize me? I'm going to look for them. Hmm? You have all artists who sing and call all my name. I'm going to look for them all. Now. Because if me answer me, just going to make it more relevant. I'm going to that something with you. I'm going to look for yes. you, man. I see ya. That's why now, one thing we have to, uh, another thing we have, uh, uh, always have to say. I know a couple of artists, even Bonte Killer. But uh, there's a lot of things we, we, we don't see eye to eye on. You see? But one thing we can tell you, him not stupid. The man is smart. If you throw no cheese, give him and he not feel like he should have trouble that cheese. He nah, look for it. <laughs> so, I think he man name respect where is due because he put in the work. You see? So, he can't say X, Y, or Z because he put in the work. You understand? He put in the work. You see? So, he can't say Ray. He's been there a long time. You see? Big up Buju just the same way. But you a man who big me up enough time and the man they put in the work. You see? You understand? Cut your You see, but, but, uh, but, uh, but, me just, me just, Diana go and watch everything I play out with them little man who claim right. X, Y, and Z and I do and say them a run place, you know. And one thing me can yeah. say about, about, me think Cartel, Vibes Cartel is a smart you too. You see? Because to the way of Mrs. Cartel stay relevant in our music, uh, how him do him thing. You can't call Cartel a million different things or say whatever. But one thing we know for sure, he might watch Wagwan. Because you see, we have certain pre right now presently. 
about the music business and how for go for try bring back the thing for get the thing back the level of prestige. Eh? I mean, and all and a sudden, couple of days after that, I start think about that. Me do some boom and I listen some tune from the way and Baba Cartel that me say boom. Come out with two songs where they and them kind of redeem there. So I write there. So I see say, ya. I think. Right. <coughs> but some of them are the artists and I think. They're busy are fighting themselves and they're not busy are getting ignorant. You see? And this is sad for the they're music. Yeah, go around and tell, uh, uh, go around and tell people about your rich and you're not rich away. You're not rich, man. You see, I select that talk about them rich and end up asleep in them family backyard. I feel like you can't come talk to man and style no man around here. You see? I'm just dead. Eh? And just I watch everything I play out and I say nothing to some of them. You see? That's why Trooper come and I burn out a lot of people with you. Trooper know where I'm at, bro. You see? This is foot hype come out because you have some entities where in this country where I, I go like them want to come draw artists and they mix up. You see? <laughs> I'm just saying, 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 this is the time the world uh, have been waiting for. From Africa, America, South America, Caribbean by extension. As we now place Curti Rounds in the spotlight to give us an a cappella. Curti Rounds. Well, right now, we have some new thing. A new thing we have focused on right now. Even though we give them two of the classic, but we have to just start with the new thing. We have some new thing to come out, you know, real soon, you know. You have one when you tattoo, tattoo, tattoo can make your heart. You see? You say, tattoo can make your heart. You say, hey, girl! Tattoo can make your heart. And tattoo can make your flap, girl. Tattoo can make your heart. Body, you feel look good, girl. Boom, perfect. Cock. Mm -hmm. Tattoo can make your heart. Tattoo can make your flap, girl. Tattoo can make your heart. Body, you feel look good, girl. Boom, <laughs> From day one, Dali body have to look like a name brand. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm not going to go no more with that. Watch the pirate them out. It's dangerous, you know. You see me? Yes. I understand. But then again, if they, then again, if them jump on them, better they ever touch it. Because it's already register. <laughs> so if them try to come with that style, we can eat a piece of food off of them, you know? You see? Of course. And we have another one. We have another one where... We're supposed to come out and say, Girl, a good looks are weird. Girl, a good looks are weird. You're something fat like a double teddy bear. Girl, a good looks are weird. Girl, a good looks are weird. And in a year, cause you just don't care. Girl, a good looks are weird. Girl, a good looks are weird. You're something fat like a double teddy bear. Girl, a good looks are weird. Girl, a good looks are weird. And in a year, them cannot compare. Straight up and down, look like. And board. If you don't look good, girl, you can't touch road. Nobody get ignorant through. You don't know the code. Big up all the girl with the purse fully load. Every girl you know them fit the criteria. Ever clean, no carry no bacteria. You know? Yeah. That's what's left. up. Now, that's <laughs> a, good looks are weird, you know? A good looks are weird. And this have y'all like woman, <laughs> them will look good. All right, don't <laughs> focus on the woman, them like, you know? You understand? And then we have another thing for come out and name Chikamala. You understand? We say, hey, mommy, me gusta como esta, como esta trabajando. Mohevin to Kulu, Mohen, Mohevin to Kulu, Mohen, Mohevin to Kulu, Mohen, Mohevin to Kulu, Komunte remote. Chikamala buebete loca lentamente quitate la ropa mami esta noche petoca as lo que me provoca provoca chica chikamala buebete loca lentamente quitate la ropa mami esta noche petoca as lo que me provoca vamos toda la noche no mami fumielo en mi cuerpo no mami cuno se me sepiente no mami me gusta tu posición mami Completa la mission, mami. Start being like your man, no, mami. Get mad, get mad, no, mami. Are you the female god, no, mami? Broke out with what you have, no, mami. Try melo, no, mami. Damilo, mami. Todo que si eres, eso para mí. Todas las chicas, siga mi, mami.
The devil have a gun no more than that one day. So then can't, so then can't figure, they can't figure that one day out. You understand? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, eh? We have so many, so many lyrics, so many songs to come out. We have a new song, Big Up Singer J, the way I'm there. I think that you, there's a great singer, but him just needs to focus and, uh, and do what him do, you know? And get the thing moving. You understand? So, look at it this way. I have a song with me as when I want to drop with me as singer J. A song when he, um, uh, uh, me have so much song I fly through me head, you know. It comes like sometimes me have a brain freeze. <laughs> a while ago, like, you know, when computer freeze. Eh? Yeah. The song, yeah. The song name, <laughs> the song name, the, the, the title of the song name, Mi Amor. In Spanish, Mi Amor. It means my love in English. You understand? Okay. So, that right. song for come. And so many, many more, you see? Uh, so, so many, many more songs that have to come. Big up proper Dan from out of Miami. We only have a song named, you know, uh, Believe. You know? That means the song named Believe. So you have to believe in yourself, you know? Well, that, that one they release. You understand? And then you have, we have another one. It's two co collaborations we do with him. And he's a young artist, too. Younger generation artist. But him good. I mean, like the message where I push. You understand? So, so, big up proper than, you know. You see me? And, and, and my wife, you know, they were just tied in that, you know. Big up yourself, you know, straight here. You see me? And big up Richie from Garrison Records. You know, the mute they have a loyal to the thing. Here. And big up yes. the whole of the East Side, you know, big up the whole of GX, you know, and the Flakes. McGregor, you see me? Dunker, big up the whole of Rockfoot, big up Batbush, Nannyville, Top Range. Big up all our people in Bridget from the east side here. Just big up on yourself, course. you know. Big up the whole of yes. St. Thomas, go straight back to Portland. You understand? You see me? So, I big up my Bridget bus up, you know. The man, the man they run them things down from the countryside. Big up yourself and the whole family, you know. You know, I send my regards. You see me? I big Same. up the whole of Penny, you know, Grand Spain here. You see me? But look at it this way. I have a lot of songs. They come out. We have a, a, another song, a one drop song, probably somewhere up in the summer. That one you're going to drop. We have a next song named Who Next? So if you come, well, we have too much song. You see? We have all, 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 uh, a, a, a song when named Swamp, Swamp Thing. That song, I think you have a like when it dropped. Them, eh? because, but I'm not finished with the video yet. I want to drop it with that video. The song named Swamp Thing. You see? Me no want to see nothing from the swamp. Hey! Me no want to see nothing. <laughs> If you're ugly, better go back to the swamp. Hey, we don't want to see you from the swamp. Hey, hey, so, me, so, me, so, me, so there is a whole heap of things that have come here. You see, of oh, course, yes. And, 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 and if you talk about one, if you talk about one drop, I have a song out, you know, when him, we run it that up online where they can find it online. Just check, check it, check it out on YouTube and them can search and find. Apple Music or any one of them company there, you know. And we have another song, uh, forget it, for buy, you know, for buy the record. And we have, uh, we have another song when he um, get the picture. Yeah, man, big up Mark anyway, him there, you know. You see me get the picture. It's another song where I think I send it to you too, you know. That song is a nice song. You know? Yes, more I got street. that one. Yeah, more street, but I didn't know I did swag, you know. You understand? You see, also, we have pull up on your foot and we have the song named OMG, which means, oh my God, with me as Stacious. We're out. All of them songs, they're out. Them, you can find them online. You understand? You see? So, so it's OMG. Cut it wrong, featuring Stacious. You see? Absolutely, and, uh, of course. And, we could see clearly see? that Cut it is yeah, man, and, 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 and updated. Yeah, man. There is a lot of songs there to, to come and some out already. And exactly. Also, this, uh, I have this song also where I just record him, uh, Don't Approach Me. And this song is really as a, I will never convert. One drop. Don't approach me because it will never work. Nobody move and nobody get hurt. Come for rough lady fader right away, man. I'm gonna put you down a dirt. 
Bring the girls them in the skirt. You said them can't change a lion, yeah. You know, no poodle. I feed the rat while I bump your noodle. See them run down, go sell out for US and Ruby. See them a blue like them a blue the bugle. Always stand up as a man set the foundation. Is this me want the world to try and understand? Me see them destruction, but we not change the plan. Put up on one and say, yield to me, and I will never convert. Don't approach me, because it will never work. Nobody move, and nobody gets hurt. If you come for rough lane, it fade right away, man, I'll go put you down a dirt. Bring the curse, I'm in the skirt. All right. Some people get caught up in a the matrix while cynic and valley round they them a play tricks. Some will sell them soul just for where the latest. Me love God because he's the greatest. If give me life, knowledge and clean air to breathe. All bad elements I get cut down like weed. No matter where them try them just slow and it's a speed and give me food every time he need. I will never convert. I eat that, you know. Of uh, course, of course, big, people big up on the self, uh, world. Big up on yourself, big up on yourself in a world, and big up on yourself, masses. You know, it's a global thing. It's a global phenomenon. You know, just big up on yourself, man. I'm big up all of my fans, them all over the Latin world. You know, the English world. You know, the Chinese world, or you know, the Russian world, or Ukraine world, or wherever. You understand? But me now big up Poland. <laughs> well, on, this is them black people that we want to know all. We want to know all. Let cross the border for, 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 to safety. We can't see someone racist, we're not straight. We're not straight. We never ever, ever want to go to Poland. Never. If I get a show in a Poland, I don't want it. I don't respect black people. I don't know manners. We have tried this. The black race. You see? And it's time for black people, the black people in Africa start come together. I make Africa be one. Instead of in there, they pan division. And I play the sheep role. You understand what I say? Of I course. You go, go big up Ethiopia and Zimbabwe, then two places. Where them the no power, clean shot, decide to sell out. You see? Ethiopia never been colonized. Big up the Ethiopians, them. Alice Ababa, big up on yourself, you know, big up the government in you know, Ethiopia because. My sister, them now clinch our bow. Holy for respect. Yeah. Big up yourself, Kuti Ranks. You know? Yes, uh, Of course, it and was big up, a big pleasure. And big up all of my European fans, them, and my fans them in Israel, and big up all of the fans them all over this globe. We always support my music. Canada, T, that big up on yourself, big up the whole of the USA. Because USA have some great people inside here. It's a great country. Them just have to just. Stay out of the war business, you know. Definitely. War, war, war is not the answer. We need more peace in the world. <laughs> Definitely, could we don't need answer. no, we don't need no war and no destabilization right now. We need peace. All right. right. That is my message to, to 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 the U.S. and Russia and the whole of them. We need peace in the world, yeah. We not depend on sides. And of course. Say, the- UBC listeners, uh, it has been uh, a great uh, pleasure talking to uh, the dancehall artists who have dominated dancehall uh, from the 80s right throughout the 90s uh, into the 2000s. Kurti Rounds, yep. a pleasure talking to you. If there is a producer out there that would like to do a show with you, Kurti Rounds, what is the best contact? Just make them 863 1063. Let them right, call and nobody and talk. 1876 and then yep. 860 1063. Thank you so much, Kurti Ram. It has you, been a you just pleasure. Ask, and, you just, and you just ask for Richie. Make Absolutely talk will. Yes, sir. Right. it has been a pleasure talking to you. It has been a very uh, inspiration discussion. And of course, we're going to leave you guys with uh, Flawless uh, by Kuti Rans. Don't forget to check him out on YouTube, Facebook. Uh, yes, sir. And if you want to hear more from Kuti Rans, 
Just YouTube him. Missy say you love flawless though. So what happened? Oh, you're not play a we rod it. You, you test the we rod it. We rod it nice, man. <laughs> yes, nice, I nice, know. Nice. Yeah. You see me? Right. But you're done already. You're, you're done already, no yeah. man. You respect yes. up straight, you know? See, in fans of black. Uh, all right, then. Yeah, but I'm going to play. I'm going to end it with We Run It. Of course, by yeah, Kurti Rans. You feel me? Yeah, Big up yourself, Kurti Rans. And this one is uh, We Run It. And thank you so much for taking time from your busy schedule to being here in the spotlight on the number one station, UVC Radio. The sound that binds us together. We Run It. Yeah, man. Yeah, Rans. man. I'm big up, big up me engineer, Unique. Yeah. Just big up, Unique. Well, if I respect here. Bad young big engineer right now in the business. He's a young head, you know. But he, but he know him up. thing. Yeah. Big Absolutely. up. Absolutely. We run it by yes, right, Cutty Rungs. The world of Jamaica is our town. So we place. I want Africa to start giving to them pound for pound. And this is our place too. Ha <laughs> ha. 